I was out here this morning and noticed that my water treatment system was barely running. These there's three Rainbird Maxi Paw sprinkler heads here. These first two were were going, although not too too strong. But the third one, I've already pulled it up. The third one was just barely dribbling. So I pulled it, and uh, there's a lot of debris in the uh, bottom filter. So we're going to try to take this thing apart and figure out uh, how to clean it and put it all back together. But in the meantime, while that one's out, I'm going to go turn this thing on and blow the pipes out. So maybe we can keep from having to do this again next week. The system that we're dealing with is uh, referred to here as uh, Cajun Air. And it basically takes the uh, all of your gray water and black water and dumps it into a tank. Then uh, there's baffles in that tank. There's an aerator that blows uh, air into that tank 24-7, sets up, uh, you know, enzymes and bacteria, whatever, digest all that stuff. Then there's a, a basically an overflow that goes into another tank. And that, uh, that tank, I believe, has a, a float switch in it and a pump. So when the water level goes into that last tank and it goes up so high, the float switch is activated, the pump is turned on, and it pumps all of the liquids out to these sprinkler heads. And these are Rainbird Maxi Paw. And I forgot what the part number is on these things. Um, but anyway, Rainbird Maxi Paw, that's what we're, we're using with the largest um, orifice that you can put in it because you don't want your clogs to be uh, internal here. You don't want these things to clog up at all, but obviously it's going to happen. The, the sprinkler heads have been replaced once or twice, and this is the, I did a little research and asking around, and this is supposed to be the way to go, the larger uh, version of the, of the Rainbird Maxi Paw. So at any rate, what we've got, and I don't think you're going to be able to see it. But down inside here is a, the initial filter, which is just a screen, you know. It's got some grass and stuff. Uh, looks like some some plastic. Man, there's no telling what all we're going to dig out of there, but it don't belong in there. And it's causing a little obstruction. And i got to get it out. We have... Uh, the system, this Cajun Air system, claims that the water that comes out of that last tank and sprays out of these heads is 99% pure. So all we're dealing with is the 1% of that stuff that ain't pure. <laughs> I've already pried this lid off and uh, outside there, I've already pried this lid off and drained out that, uh, that 1% that's not pure. <laughs> Because I didn't want to deal with it in here. Um, but what you need to do this is a small screwdriver and a maxi paw wrench. And you can get these wherever you buy the, the maxi paw uh, sprinkler head. You should be able to get this maxi paw wrench. Um, all of this end is for, I guess, if you really got on it, that would go down in there. It'll also take this plug out. Uh, but what you got to do is pry this open. I don't know how well we're going to be able to do this on camera. Pull that up, hold it up, and get that wrench down in there. Pull it up all the way. Get your wrench down in there. About three turns, once you get that bottom part seated, I can see that down in there. There's some debris. There's a lot of 1% down there, if you follow me. All right, about three turns counterclockwise. <clears throat> there we go. We'll open this thing up. 
and remove all that. And all we should be left with is a shell. We're gonna take this out there to the water hose, rinse it out, rinse all this stuff out and get that 1% off of there. You can see we got roots and stuff. Now we don't eat roots, so there must be some down in the uh, tank. <laughs> it's pretty nasty, ain't it? Gah! Well, I guess we do eat roots. We're eating turnips, but at any rate, that's the thing. It ain't turnips. So let's get this all cleaned up, see if we can get it working again. Well, we got the, the outer container cleaned up. It just had a lot of muddy stuff in it. Washed out with the hose real easy. I used my son's toothbrush once again. I got in around all these uh, working elements here. Got it all cleaned up. Everything looks good in there. Uh, I want to say, I believe, there might even be a filter in behind here. We may look at that here in a minute. But uh, the problem I've got now is, even with uh, a force of water, I can't get all this debris out of here. So what we're looking at is stuff that should not have gone down the sink. We've got little pieces of plastic. Uh, of course, the stuff you can't help. Shower uh, is going to produce some hair. Uh, all kind of stuff. So what I'm trying to see now is if I can pop this filter out and just wash it out there. Oh yeah, I believe so. I believe this is this might even be user friendly. Look here. There we go. So that's the thing to do is pop that out and get it all cleaned up. That's your first line of defense right there. And it's just about to fail. No wonder water wasn't going through there. So let me get this cleaned up and I'll come back and look at that little nozzle. Well, that cleaned up nicely. We got uh, just under some running water, just had to sit there and pick and pick and pick. And it, it was amazing how, uh, how much stuff was crammed into each nook and cranny of that filter. Um, but we got it all but one little piece and I'm really not too worried about it. You know, one little piece. Because in 10 minutes, there'll be another little piece right beside it probably. But, uh, so, let's pop this little dude back in there. I'm telling you, that boy's toothbrush works better out here in the shop than it does on his teeth. I use the heck out of that thing. Get out of there, grass. Where'd that come from? Where'd it go? All right, pop that right back in there retained now these I believe you just turn them down you gotta let's see there's a trick to it what is it what's the trick here turn it down like that and then work it out of there let's see if we can swing it out of the way if it do I don't remember there we go All right, we got that out of the way. Got the chick 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 out of the way. Oh, it looks like it ought to be a filter down there. Let me take a stab at it here. Yep. Is it? Sort of? Kind of? A little bit? It's pretty clean down there. Just blow it out and stick it back in there. How about that? It may just be a diffuser of some kind. I don't know. Let me just jam that right back down in there. Seat it. And once it's seated, like that, turn it like that. Release the chick 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 and you should be good to go. This little dude here, I forget what they call that, but it, it diffused that screw. You can turn that screw in and it will, you know, open the pattern up. We're looking for maximum distance, so we leave it out. All right. Now, all we got to do is screw this thing back in here. And 
go on to the next one. After we open up our, hopefully the, the water level in that uh, system is high enough to where it's going to call for the pump to turn on. We go blow that line out. All right, that's seated. Hold that up. I don't want to kind of miss some of this stuff. I don't want to mess anything up. Not the easiest tool in the world to deal with. Just like that. Pow! Alright. Make sure that's tight. I did take it off earlier. I ain't going nowhere. Okay. Way better. All right, so turn the water on, blow it out. Well, that switch still isn't calling for the pump to come on, so we're just gonna go ahead and do all three of these and be done with it. Here in a little while, that pump's gonna come on. We should have water jetting out of there like crazy. Thanks for watching.